Welcome, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's Ken, your investor, young entrepreneur. Guys, we're discussing Sensenix. We can see right now that I'm currently on the Sensenix website. As you guys know, um, I've been pushing the stocks over the last few months. We have made profit so far because we got in in the low twos, was able to make a profit once it crossed over $5 per share. Now, basically, if you go on the website at sensenix.com, you can see they're the creator of the first and only long term implantable cgm guys this is a game changer allows you to monitor um your levels um if you guys have any kind of diabetes um, then definitely guys um would understand or if you have any family members that has to be injecting needles um in your body it is a painful snare i couldn't imagine um especially for kids as well this is a great device to be used um, to lower the pain of the young ones. Now, I'm going to go over the charts a bit, um, let you guys know um, what I think. Now, in terms of the news releases, I urge you guys, if you want to do some research, you can definitely go on their website. You can see any any form of communications that the company puts out. Um, highly recommend that you guys um, could go through and read to see um, exactly what the company is doing, what kind of news and the releases they're going through. Um, it is very important when you're investing to invest some time into doing some research. Now, we can go here and see from March 4th, they have posted um, and the reports that they have in terms of Sensenic Holdings on uh, fourth quarter and full year 2020 financial result. Um, definitely, it's a good read if you want to go through. Um, that shows you how the company is doing, how many cash they have in hand, and what they're doing so far. Now, welcome back. As I said, um, we are talking about Sensenix. We can see in the last month, we have seen um, the stock came down from in the mid $3 per share. And if we go back at the beginning of the year, um, we saw back in December, the stock was trading below $1 per share. But as soon as it hits 2021, it was a great scenario for Sensenix because we can see that first rise at 380 before it have a pullback and then recover and breaks that $5 per share. This is where most of our subscribers, if you guys did get in in the stock, you'd make a ton of profit because I let you guys know uh, before the rise in the mid $1 and in the mid two uh, twenty per share that um, it was a great opportunity. Anyone who got in that time, you are definitely make 100% on your investment. Now, let's take a look in the last three months. We can see the market um, have not been favoring Sensonix. They're still waiting for some approval from the FDA. Now, we understood because um, it's the coronavirus situation right now. There is a lot of um, on like procedures that um, in terms of the FDA to approve these drugs or these devices, um, in this case, is taking a longer than usual time. Now, these things can take a long time. In the interim, I understand based on research that Sensonix are trying the European route as well. They do have a company that they are working with to see if they can push this further. Um, so just in case if the FDA um, process takes a longer time, um, uh, we do have a backup plan uh, to push this product through uh, through Europe. Now, if we take a look right now, the stock is trading, as we can see. Let's go back down here. It's at 234 right now, closed off for the day. If you're trading in the aftermarket as well, you will still see at 235, 236. Now, in terms... Um, of the day, we can see it have a little bit of pullback. It's down 10% um, for the day um, expected because of the news. Now, if you're trading um, the stock, guys, it is okay um, to be concerned because any kind of big drop like this um, could raise high bros. Now, we saw the same drop back, um, if we go back, I think, three months back when it crosses um, that $5 per share. Well, we can see there was a steep pullback. And it kept going until it hits at one point um, in the low, uh, like $2, and even breaking 195 at one point. So it is a, a sign of concern. However, we have seen a, a recovery in the stock um, before on numerous um, occasions. So, uh, for anyone that's watching, um, if, it, if this is the first time that you're getting in, please do some research. As I said, um, I've included the... And the company website, so you can take a look to see um, any kind of news that they have out. You can also look online as well. There are a ton of resources that you could find more information, but always do some research before you invest. It is very crucial um, in the stock market to be uh, like successful. 
Now, for anyone else, um, if you're trading this stock, as I said, um, if we take a look back, we can see how it has been performing. Now, in terms of the FDA approval, can't really guarantee when they will make that approval. In the short term, we have to do our best uh, to see if we can do as much research as we can uh, to find out why the stock is pulling back. Now, the good news is we do know that based on the last um, uh, report, uh, we can see, let's go back here. Just want to make sure we cover that as well. Let's see if I have the information here. Okay, so this was back in April 1st where they showed the equity grant. So I just want to make sure I show you guys. If we look back here, we can see in the in the fourth quarter result, they did discuss how many cash we have on hand. Um, so they do have um, uh, about 187 million in cash flow, um, and that definitely will help them to um, continue research and do marketing and all that good stuff for the next couple of years. So at least we, in that sense, we're kind of secure knowing that um, the company have enough cash to carry and I going forward because we do know um, to market this product is costing them a ton of money and um, this is a good sign and this is some good news for us to be relief but if we take a look back at the market just make sure guys if you're invested in the stock right now if you're in the in in the higher end of the trade um, anywhere from 350 to four dollars um, per trade this is a good opportunity if you want to buy some more shares um, to lower the average. So as the stock rise again, then you can use it to offset any losses. And this is something I do on a, on a regular basis as well. If I'm down and a one particular stock, for example, if I get in, obviously, in the 120, I could sell and make a profit. But say, for example, if I, okay, I sold above five about five dollars per share and then i wanted to go back in the stock so um for instance if i went back in say if i went back in i'd say 350 per share right then at some point um i would if the stock made this huge drop that we saw here to touch and like two dollars per share and then definitely i'd buy up a lot of shares at two dollars because okay i was able to make a profit at five but now i'm um, sucked in at three dollars and twenty cents per share. So, if I see it breaks that two dollars down, as long as, as long as I know that it have an opportunity to bounce spot, then I'd invest a lot of money at two dollars per share. And as soon as it crosses back that three dollars and it starts to rise, then definitely it's a fair ball game at that point. You can decide if you want to hold it, okay, um, to let it cross over three twenty and hopefully to sell at four dollars per share. Or in most cases, what I've done is that if I bought in, like if I if I already made a profit for sure, and if I got back in, I'd say three twenty, and now I'm down, I goes to two dollars. I don't sell because when you sell, you lose money. What I do in those situations is I buy more, I invested more uh, money in at the uh, lower end, and as soon as it starts to pull back up, if it if it comes within uh, the range of what I invested in, then I could sell the additional um, shares that I I purchase, or in some instances, I can I can sell the exact amount of the money that I've invested in the new um, acquired shares, and then I could leave my profit from this investment into um, on the balance, or I could just sell the entire amount profit, including um, uh, on a capital and then wait for another pullback, and then I could reinvest it again. So that's something I do on a regular basis. Now, it's a good um, it's a good tip for anyone that wants to do it. Again, guys, I cannot tell you how to do it, how to invest, how to pull out. I can only share what I'm doing. Now, if you're following the exact same footprint, then it makes common sense that it is a great uh, strategy. It has worked for me over and over. Um, I've done it on a lot of trades. Um, for example, like Tesla, I kept doing the exact same thing. I just hold my position and I kept buying call options. And I just I keep just selling those call options using the profit to buy more shares into the company. Um, same goes for Apple. I do the same thing as well. And I normally use my profits to invest in stable companies that I know have great earning opportunities. Um, that's something you guys could follow if you want. Um, it's not really um, 
and it's something I could force you. But the bottom line is, guys, what I want you to take away from this uh, review is, is keep it simple. Um, if you notice my video, I don't really go into much uh, in depth about uh, floor and ceiling and um, Fibonacci tool and all that stuff, because I have found out that um, by completely doing your research, it allows you to make a decision. Um, at the end of the day, it's buying and selling, right? It's it's the same thing as like a house. Okay, you buy a house for a hundred thousand. Or your goal is to sell that house at 250000 or if it goes up to a million dollars or five hundred, And the profit at the end of the day, it really depends on what you are comfortable um, by selling. So there's no really set number. Um, and the same goal for the stock market is the same goal for real estate as well. Either one could go down, right? Uh, people tell you that the stock market is risky. Okay, real estate is risky as well. Right in in more scenario than often we saw uh, we see that real estate goes up, but it can go back if we take a look back at two thousand seven uh, and two thousand eight in the U.S. when they have that recession. Right, it can happen, but people tend to look at just the stock market and say it is unsafe. It is not unsafe. It's basically how you trade. If you keep it simple and if you have a plan in place, um, uh, a typical example on like sense and next when we got in in the one the two okay our plan was to sell if it goes over four dollars per share which would be a hundred percent in the end we're able to sell above uh, five dollars per share and then we're able to make a few small trades in between and by making 10 20 percent 10 20 percent a few times and use that profit to stay in the investment now with this drop um again today i was able to go in and i was able to pick up a few more shares in the in the low two dollars and thirty two cents. Uh, so now we have a time now to wait back and see if we can make a profit in the long run. Now I'm not in any big rush with Sensenix. I do understand the process with um, in terms of the FDA approval process. Mm -hmm. I understand it's a coronavirus situation now with the pandemic. Um, like all these things plays a part in it. Now the great thing is the company does have an upside. Um, it's definitely worth um, the wait. Uh, if you take a look. It has a small market cap of 986 million. Uh, so basically, if this price uh, starts to rise, the price will rise very fast because it has a small market cap. And you can notice the volume that's trading on this stock is normally in the above 20 million plus. So um, it is a process, it is a patient decision. You have to decide if you're willing to wait it out. And they always say, if you Whoever waits um, the longest and, and whoever be patient um, could get a better return. So I'm gonna wait. I, I'm gonna wait and sense the next for anyone that wants to sell. Totally up to you guys, but I highly recommend that. Um, what I've done is I've got more shares in the low um, of two thirty two. If it drops again, um, hopefully it doesn't drop the break two dollars per share. But if it drops again, then I'll readjust and see what I'll go from there. Um, hopefully, I could make a lot more profit with other stocks, and then I can compensate by buying more um, into Sensenix. But there's a few stocks for the future um, that I think I want to keep, like Sensenix. Uh, we see Nano Dimension as well. It's another stock that I bought up a few more shares earlier today. Uh, so, uh, so companies like that, it's it's a long it's a long game um, for me and those two uh, with Nano Dimension. Uh, with the 3D printing and also with Sensenix with this uh, glucose monitoring system here. Um, and also as well with CRISPR. It's, um, I'm invested in those companies long term now because I, I picture in the next couple of years, we will see the benefit of what we're doing right now. So before this um, video goes out too long, please let me know what you think. If you have any other companies that you suggest, if, it, uh, if it's something that match what I'm doing, definitely I will add it to my portfolio. Um, I'll do some research first, of course, to make sure it mix with whatever I'm doing. However, I'm kind of really top top now with the amount of companies I'm managing. I have too many companies. Uh, my goal for the next few months is trying to uh, like sell a few of the stocks that um, is very similar um, in performance and in the same sector because I want to diversify. You don't want to have too much of the same um, stock, but again, and you have to do your research to see which one is better off on like cutting ties with. So again, guys, please share your comment. 
um yeah let's start this let's start to share or comment you know be open be um of course respectful i'm gonna keep it positive because at the end of the day guys you never stop learning we all are still learning um it doesn't matter how much um, we make in the market each day i learn as well so you know what i mean um it's the only place that you can just be open you know if you have a tip you can share it as well but um it yeah uh, just be respectful to everyone um, that's commenting and watching. And let's hope, um, yeah, we can pull our resources together and see what we can get accomplished. So until next time, guys, um, please like, share, and subscribe. And make sure if you're watching this stock, um, it's a great opportunity. It's a great price right now. Don't miss out. Um, you can go with a small position. And if it drops lower, then you could buy more. But I definitely think at 232 and at 234 per share, um, it have a great potential to want to go back up and you can make a lot of profit. So until next time, trade smart and peace out.